Hi, and welcome back to Storytime with Kit. And on today's episode, we're going to read Mermaid Mia and the Royal Visit by Laura Ed and Rosie Greening. Let's go. Mermaid Mia loved to write new stories every day. She ran the paper at her school with Emily and Faye. Emily took the photographs and Faye did the reviews. But Mia was the one in charge of each day's front page news. Mia's news was popular and always told with style. She was funny, frank, and honest, and her words made people smile. One morning, Mia longed to find a juicy piece of news. She got her pad and went in search of something she could use. Her first lead was a story on the snails in the canteen. But the news was so slow-moving, Mia really wasn't keen. Then she heard a rumor of a whale stuck in the gym. Now that's a story, Mia thought. I'll write my news on him. But just as Mia reached the whale, he managed to get out. My front page will be bare, she cried. What can I write about? Suddenly, a sneaky thought popped into Mia's head. The real news isn't good enough. I'll make it up instead. She swam back to the newsroom and began to type full speed. This news will make a splash, she thought. They're sure to want to read. As soon as it was printed, Mia's words began to spread and the school buzzed with excitement at the front page news that said, The Mermaid, a royal visit, written by Mermaid Via. Her Highness, Queen Marina, will be visiting our school. She's heard of the Academy and wants to meet us all. It was all the mermaids talked about, the best news of the year. In class, they'd whisper happily, I can't wait. I bet we'll have a ball. The Queen is coming here. But soon, the news got out of hand, which made poor Mia fret. As the day drew closer, she kept hoping they'd forget. I want her photograph. Oh dear, we can't live in her palace. With one week left, she told her friends, I've made a big mistake. The queen's not really visiting. The news I wrote was fake. You should have told the truth, said Faye, but now we need a plan. We'll tell the queen what happened, and then fix it if we can. Let's get to work. So Mia sent a letter to the Queen's royal address. She asked the Queen to help them out and hoped that she'd say yes. Soon the royal whale mail brought a very special note. You've got mail. It was signed, Love Queen Marina. And this is what she wrote. Dear Mia, you're very brave for owning up. It's not easy to do. And thank you for inviting me. I'd love to visit you. Love Queen Marina. At last, a special day arrived. The mermaids couldn't wait. They lined the school with pretty flags and a sign that said, You're great! A carriage pulled by dolphins soon drove up and parked outside. I love her crown! She waved to me! The queen swam up to meet them all, and Mia beamed with pride. The day was so amazing, Mia knew what she should do. She put the story in the news, and every word was true. A royal success, written by Mermaid Mia. We had a great time yesterday with Queen Marina here, and as she left us, she told us all, I'll come again next year. After that, Mia was truthful. Even when the news was slow, she learned that being honest was the only way to go. And that's the end of Mermaid Mia and the Royal Visit. Thank you for listening and watching to Storytime with Kit. Make sure to like and subscribe, and happy reading.